Hi, I'm Adam from DoJoNoDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool growing vine effect. Now the first part of this tutorial I'm going to be using Photoshop to, to create the vines that we're going to be importing into After Effects. And to do that I'm just going to create a new document, make it fairly big for this, and then we're going to be using some Photoshop brushes which I just downloaded from the internet and select, select the paint tool and this is one of my brushes that I'm going to use you select your brush up here and if you've imported, you've downloaded some then you might need to import your brushes here I'm okay with this brush I'm just going to click to create a vine now what I'm going to do is just scale this down a little bit because I don't need it to be that big I was just using the crop tool and now I can zoom in and get a better view of the brush I'm just going to be using the lasso tool I like using the, um, the polygon lasso tool as opposed to the other kinds you can get and um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut out every individual vine and leaf. It's kind of a bit hard work, but at least this is what you have to do. First, you must cut out these vines. Here, I'm I'm going to do this main vine that's running along here, and you have to be careful as to around where the other vines intersect the the vine that you're cutting out, and just sort of cut them off carefully. You don't have to be incredibly accurate, but it does help. It's of the more time you put in, the better effect you will get. As you see, I'm leaving the leaves and these um, of the leaves and the petal flowers things on the the ones that are attached to this vine, and I'm cutting all the others out. And just come up to the last bit. Now we need to cut this out and if you go to layer, new and you can do layer via cut or layer via copy. Now this vine intersects several other vines so I'm going to have to copy this to a new layer then go back and then sort of use the eraser tool to rub it out and then leave in the bits where the other vines intersect it. You can also use the shortcut commands which I'll be doing for most of this tutorial and that's just command or control if you're on PC and J. Now let's just put it onto another layer. You can see here. I'm just going to rename this 01 Vine. I'm also going to create a folder for this vine. Call that 01 Vine as well. Put that in there. Now I'm just going to turn off the other layer. So we've just got this one vine. We've just got to do a bit more work to this and cut in cutting off all of the um, leaves and the petals. Now you can put in as much time as you want with this. Just for speed I'm going to put those as two, as, um, as one, but you might want to do each petal individually. And this I'm just selecting it and then I'm using the command shift j to cut to a new layer because I don't need to copy it because I don't need it on the original layer but with these these petals you might to get a if it was a good idea to copy them as three different petals that way when you animate them in after effects you can get a um so they can get them appearing at slightly different times and it just makes it look quite nice I'm also going to have to name these. I'm just going to drag the, the vine layer up to the top there. And that's the, the first pair. I'm just going to call that one. And then that one two. As you can see, the naming scheme here, very original. I'm just going for the numbers. And then we have that um, vine sorted. Now we're going to move on to the next vine. First, 
I'm going to have to erase the vine that I've just copied. I'm going to use the eraser tool. I've just got it set to a circle, circular brush. Yeah, um, and I'm just going to cut that. Out. Oh, erase that. The reason why I didn't cut this one and I copied it, which left the original vine, is because of this part here. As you can see, this vine's cut straight through it. If we cut it out, we'd have a big hole in the middle of the um, that vine. And you can do that, and you can get away with it quite easily if you animate the main vine to come to sort of get to that position before the other vine. Otherwise, you end up with just a big hole, and it looks a bit silly. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. And then just actually, well, it's easy to cut the rest out. Now that I've done that, there we go. Now we need to select this second vine. And as you can see, this vine is also intersected. So I'll probably copy this one. Then go through and erase it later. Actually, we'll we keep that leaf, don't we? So, Command J to copy that to a new layer. And I'm actually, I'm just going to get the eraser tool and clean up these sections around here because it's a bit it's a bit messy there we go I'm going to rename this to 02 vine and create a folder for this vine as well put that in there then we're going to do the same thing as before, I'm just going to select this leaf then control shift J to cut it to a new layer and then this leaf up here as well control shift J and then call that one, two, one, one and then that's that vine done now we have to go through the whole of the image and do the same process and when you're done you'll get something that looks like this and this is a slightly different brush but I've gone through and I have taken each of the vines and put them into folders then each vine you have the stem and then any leaves that are attached to it and even some like here we have the it's this bit here, how if I zoom in. We have the stem, the leaf, and then we also have the stem of another branch, just there, which you might not be able to see very well, and then the leaf for that one. And then another stem over here, and another leaf, which I've put inside that, the side folders inside the folder for that vine. This means so that when we import it into After Effects, they will each appear in their own compositions. And this makes it far easier to work with. Now we're just going to have to save this by going to File, Save As. I'm going to call it Super Duper Mega Flower. Yay. And as long as it's saved as a PSD, we should be okay. As just a Photoshop document. And this will allow us to import all of the layer data into After Effects. And then click OK. And now we need to go to After Effects.